this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to add multiple color effects to your photos to make them um, a little bit more playful, a little bit more colorful. We're just going to apply some straight colors into the photos, make them, um, you know, a little bit, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, a little bit more playful. So uh, let's see how that, how that works. Okay, so in this photo here, and it's already pretty colorful here, we're going to take some cues here from this photo here where we have, you know, some slabs of color. We're going to divide the image into four sections and apply four different color effects to them. Um, sort of like a, a rainbow effect, if you will. Um, yeah, and uh, just make it a little bit more playful. So let's see how that works. Okay, so first we need to divide this image into four quarters, vertical quarters, so we can apply our uh, color slabs. So what we can do this is go into View and New Guide, and in here, with uh, orientation selected as vertical, we want to position uh, a guide at 25% of the image. Make sure you put in the percentage points, um, it'll default to whatever your ruler is set to, it could be inches or pixels and so forth. Just use the percentage symbol there, 25, and you'll see a guide there at 25% of the image. Okay, now we just go again and add one at 50%, then one at 75, and there we are. So we have four chunks, and now what we can do is uh, select the first part, there we are. Make sure if it's not if it's not locking into the the guide, you want to go into show all menu items here if you have that snap to and make sure that snap to is selected here snap to guides and also that snapping overall is selected right so you have this effect that you can just click easily just go ahead and just it'll just snap to the end there so there we are now we're going to um, add a uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer. And with that, we can click Colorize, and um, I'm happy to start here. You can you can choose which color you want to start off with here. I'm going to start off with uh, the hue at zero, so that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and change the mode to color, so that it's just applying the color to the image, substituting everything else for the color. But uh, it, it it helps. Let me show you before here, and the after. It helps preserve the luminosity, if the, the the shadow and the the highlight details of the image. It doesn't make it flat so it preserves that okay now we're gonna go into the second one so we're gonna go ahead and select the second region here and again add a hue and a saturation layer and we're gonna make sure to click on colorize and now we're gonna change the hue here and you can go in sequence or you, you can go to, to something else you could you know like in sequence here this chunk would be yellow or green and then you can move to the next chunk and so forth I'm gonna do something slightly different I'm gonna move this to uh, a purple here, so they seem to like complement each other. So I'll go for the purple, and now we'll do this again for the uh, third bit here. I'm just gonna select third bit, hue and saturation, colorize, and let's see what blends in now with that purple. Um, I think blue. I think a blue is in order here. So let's select the blue here. All right. And uh, of course, uh, remember here, I myself just forgot here, make sure that you are setting your blend modes to color. So it's quite quite an easy thing to forget. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we are on color on all our modes here. Okay, we are. And now we're going to add the last one. So again, we're going to make that selection first of all. And then we're going to add the hue and saturation layer, colorize, and now select something else. So something that goes with the blue, it's probably going to be a green or a yellow. What do you think? I'm going to go with a green. Where's the green? There it is. Okay, I'm going to go with the green. Click OK. And of course, change the mode to color. So there we are. We have our photo here with the three slabs, with the four slabs of color. And we've made it a little bit more playful, a little bit more colorful. And what you can do as well to this is uh, add another. Uh, hue and saturation that would go above everything else. And this will sort of be your master control. All right. So as you can see, this this hue and saturation layer, I just clicked OK just to show you here. Um, this one isn't being masked out. While the other ones are, this one isn't. So whatever you do to this one will affect, affect everything else. So for example, you can, you can uh, change the saturation of it so that there's you know less of that color, or you can make it even more vibrant, right? And what you can also do here is just shift the hue. So whereas I started off with red over there, now maybe I'm starting off with purple. 
or with blue and all the other colors are shifting in accordance to that so you can you know play around see what it is that you like I think I'm gonna go here and start off with sort of like a pink actually and um, I'm actually going to decrease the saturation a little bit here there we are so we can see here there's that option there's this option I mean it's you know it's pretty it's pretty nifty in, in how you can actually you know play around with this with so much ease but uh, in, in essence, there you are. This is the, uh, the way to add the multiple color effects to your photo, making it a little bit more playful. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.